Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania with uh, Honey Boo Boo, or as uh, she's called by her channel name, Riot Girl Radio. And she is at the local city hall to for a fraud it. But one thing she forgot was part of her script. She uh, forgot to mention that it's a Fourth Amendment violation to uh, show her ID. Well... That's her own damn fault for being a pathetic auditor anyway. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I would like to shout to CH and Ty Audits, uh, Preston H. Now, Auditing Avery County, um, San Joaquin Valley Transparency, um, First Amendment Rights, and a million other people I forgot that I love. Yeah, a bunch of scumbags and wife beaters, especially uh, Chris Hendry right there. And I hear you're going to be flying out to uh, meet uh, Joey Surreal Camera out there in Arizona. Well, uh, hopefully he doesn't sell you to some uh, human traffickers while you're out there. Good luck with that. So let's carry on with the show, shall we? So we'll see. I don't even know if this is the right doorway to get in. We'll see. I don't know. You might have to go all the way to the front. This is it, I guess. Hi. This is City Hall for Bethlehem? Okay. Oh. <laughs> Hi. You can put that back. What What's that? Oh, I'm here to get the building and like see all the offices and see all the services that are offered here and that type of thing. What the hell services do you think they offer at City Hall anyway? Besides, there's a little device uh, or thing that we all use now that can be certainly helpful. I mean, uh, it, uh, it stores information and has a lot of uh, valuable information at that called the Internet. All you got to do is uh, use it to discover what a city hall's purpose is. You should really try it sometime, honey boo boo. I'm sure you'll be amazed. Okay, so what, what exactly do you want to do here? Why are you talking about that? As long as this dude is functioning at his uh, job properly, I don't think it should be any of your damn concern, dumbass. I'm, I'm, I'm going around to film all the offices and the building. Pardon me? Who are you with? Then? Who are you affiliated with? Then? Oh, I'm an independent journalist. I work for myself. Translation, I am an unemployable, dumbass frauditor who can't seem to get my head out of my ass and take a look at how the world really works. Uh, is that good enough for you? You have to have passes to go to each office. And I'm not going to give you passes to go to all the offices. Why not? Um, yeah, I'm just going to walk around and see what different services are available. Oh. Yeah, such riveting content, Riot Girl. I mean, you should get the Pulitzer Prize for filming all these objects. I mean, can you tell us the story behind them, too? What they're about? I mean, inquiring minds want to know. Very cool. Place is big. They have elevators. And if you got to get a pass, I need ID. I need your identification. You work for yourself, right? You have ID? Uh, yeah, I do. I mean, why do I have to? Because it's City Hall, you need an ID here. 
Okay. Okay. Did you have to give your driver's license to get an ID? I did. Yeah? Okay. Yep. Thank you. Hey, where's all the uh, Fourth Amendment BS that you frauditors tend to spew out? You know, the stuff about uh, rights violations, even though there are none. I mean, uh, come on, girl. You are you are really disappointing me right now. I mean, come on, honey, boo-boo. Give us something to work with. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chief Michelle Cott okay. with the police department. How's Hi. it going? Good, how are you? Do you mind if I sit down with you and no chat a little bit? Yeah, that's um, awesome. <laughs> so, you want to come into City Hall to take pictures or videos? Yeah, or... yeah, I just want to see like what services are offered here and any artwork or history and just getting the whole building. Okay. And that's it. All right. I'm an independent journalist. I'm gathering content for a story. I'm doing it on Bethlehem. Oh, okay. So All I'm right. going to visit some of the buildings and just see yeah, what's no, going well, on. Yeah, no, very, very, very It's beautiful. Oh, it's beautiful. Are, are you from local? Are you from here? No. <laughs> no? Okay, yeah. No, it, it is a, a beautiful, beautiful city um, uh -huh. that was founded back in the 1700s. Oh, okay. So by the Moravians. Oh. Have you been down to the historic district? Uh, uh Which we're part of the historic district right here. But if you go down this street, which is Church Street, okay, it'll take you down into some beautiful, beautiful historic buildings. Okay. Um, that originated with the Moravians. Okay. So, um, but so I, I talked to our our monitor up there, and, and he said you want to go to like every floor and go to every office and yeah, just look around and. So there are so places gonna... that are restricted. Right. I would never go in a restricted area. I respect all the signs. I'm not trying to get anyone's private information. And mm -hmm. I make sure I stay away from that. And more just getting like, you know, the people that work here and seeing them. And... Bullshit! 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 Yeah, you'd never go into a restricted area of a building and cause problems because you think you're better than everybody else because you think you're a constitutional law scholar. No. Oh, yeah, I've heard that one before. That's it. Right. Because, I mean, that's it, just problematic uh, without making any appointments or there's just places where the general public isn't right. able to go. Right. Um, so. And yeah, I would respect that. I mean, and I'm not going to go in any restricted area. And there lies the crux of the whole argument and the whole stupid reasoning that honey boo boo has freedom of the press in the second amendment does not grant you special privileges to just go anywhere anytime you want it me basically means that you can print your stories without fear of government interference it does not mean you can walk into any office in any building anywhere in the country are you that freaking stupid I mean, you just can't go walking into the uh, Pentagon as a member of the press and expect not to be turned away or even arrested because you entered like a secure facility or anything like that. You, I mean, that yeah. Let, why, why don't you go over to the Pentagon and see what how far that gets you? Why don't you go over to? Uh, the National Security Agency and see how far that gets you. Will you be able to go into the uh, vaults that they have for classified files and be able to look at them because you're a member of the press? No, that's not how that works. There are things that you don't need to know for the good of security because like with those classified documents that I was just mentioning, there might be some valuable information that might hurt our country when it comes to terrorists wanting to get a hold of it. That is the kind of thing we got to watch out for. But no, you're sitting here complaining about, oh, freedom of the press. Well, the freedom of the press, like I said, does not give you the right to uh, do any of that. I mean, it does not give you special privileges above everybody else. 
Well, at any rate, guys, she ends up leaving, but good riddance to her. I mean, if she's that brain dead that she can't figure this stuff out, then we don't need her around anyway.